Nestled in the heart of Verdam traffic is the Gayatri Pidam, the seat of the Divine Mother. Under the guidance of its spiritual head, Swami Shankarananda, the Gayatri Pidam has become a haven for the spiritual seeker. Sadhana visited the ashram recently to find out more about its activities and happenings. Our Master Swami, uh, Dr. R. R. K. Murugesu, hails from, hailed from Sri Lanka. And uh, Swamiji was involved in a lot of spiritual work. And uh, Swamiji met his master, who was a Gayatri Siddha. A Gayatri Siddha is a very renowned person uh, propagating the uh, Gayatri Mantra and the benefits of the Gayatri Mantra and uh, he found that Guruji was the most appropriate person to actually pass the propagation of the Gayatri Mantra. The Gayatri Pidum was set in September 1996 and from then on it's been really, really prosperous for the uh, Gayatri Pidum in, in the spiritual terms where we have uh, helped a lot of people, we passed the message around and the values of the uh, Gayatri Mantra and its benefits to the people that was hidden for, for, for centuries. Navagara Puja is that poor prayer that is the most important prayer in you as a person because no other prayer that you can do can remove obstacles. If you do any other prayer, Durga Puja, Hanuman Puja, whatever Puja, they are for your health, wealth and prosperity. The Navagara Puja is specifically for the obstacles in your way to be removed. So that is why we, a lot of emphasis is placed on Navagara Puja. And the other important aspect of, of, of the prayer itself it conditions your mind and your entire being to concentrate on the prayer. The gardens, the gardens, I might add that it is Guruji's idea that these gardens must be kept. He allocated special sections of the garden to specific people to maintain. So every week when they come, they must maintain their own garden. The energy of the ashram is beyond explanation. We have people that walk in here and find the difference in their own composition as soon as they put a step into the gates of the Gayatri Pedum. Similarly, the plants enjoy the energy of the ashram and their growth is determined by the energy of the ashram. The caring is dependent on the attitude of the people of the ashram. We need to care for ourselves first. Now, if you care for ourselves and we do an in introspection of ourselves and we find a satisfaction within ourselves, similarly, we want to pass that kind of uh, stuff to, to whatever is around us. The garden, if you have pride in your own self, you'll take pride in whatever is given to you to maintain. And therefore, you will do everything within your own self to make that allotted spot of yours your own. And also to, to show your own uh, initiative what you can do to make it a better place. Similarly, the growth of that portion that you allocated also determines your own growth. If you take care or clean or maintain that garden, so will you maintain your own spirituality. Your own development will take place. You'll become more conscious of the divine around you because all are given to you by the masters, by the divine.
in this material world we live in right now, we are chasing over material values. We don't want to take time off and say, listen, how can spirituality help me? I can save a lot of money by just getting involved in spirituality. I don't have to be chasing it because spirituality, the essence of spirituality is simplicity. And if you are simple in life, you will look for the simple things in life. And if you look for the simple things in life, and the most simple thing is to look for God. It costs you nothing, but once you find the God, you'll find an internal satisfaction. You'll find something within you that will tell you, I found my home. Lord Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita says, Behold, Arjun, a million divine forms with an infinite variety of color and shape. Behold the gods of the natural world and many more wonders never revealed before. Behold the entire cosmos turning within my body and the other things you desire to see. Yes, understanding the vastness of our Hindu dharma is almost incomprehensible. We may experience fragments of it, through bhajan, through our scriptures, through seva or satsang. In whatever way you can connect to that bliss, do keep up your sadhana. Until next time, Om. Oh.